little more size to him. Yeah, a little better. Yeah. Right. So Paul jig number two. <laughs> I always hate when I lose a new bait casting into a dang tree. Oh hey. That was an aggressive little bugger. I think there's a lot of food go through here. I'm gonna start keep missing. You know when the when the Senko's actually got some color to it though? I can see a huge increase in stripes. Yeah. Yeah, those those pale ones. It takes it takes two, three casts to get a bite. And this one here that I just put on. Uh, it's like every cast I'm getting nailed. Happen it quicker? Oh, gosh, yeah. Yeah, he finally said we could, we could use cranks, and I was all super excited. And I actually cranked quite a bit, because I was like, this is freaking awesome. That's a big old power bridge. Big old power bridge. <laughs> it's exactly what they are, Matt. Yeah. No, it's just like, what the heck? Why do I keep making these damn pipes? But, uh, so I was all super excited, man. I got a bunch of chicken sixes and all kinds of stuff. And yeah. man, we caught not that many. Like, the, the hook ratio was way better on... There we go. Sorry, buddy. Holy cow, that was luck. Got it off? Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm gonna be interested to see. Yeah, well, <laughs> Dude, that's done. That's, that's the hardest I've ever been hit. <laughs> Another one with some decent size to it. I was, a little, <laughs> I was a little worried about that when I was rearing back on that jig over the tree over there. Oh, yeah, this is a freaking football jig. <laughs> Big old head on it. Yeah. Come back and. Got him that time, huh? Yeah. That's a nicer fish, too, man. Yeah. Later in the day, like this, we're actually hooking in some nicer ones. Yeah.